What's up everybody, Nook is back here for my review of the brand new Christmas film that came out on GAC Family two weeks ago, Catering Christmas, and then I also have my review up uh, next for Christmas Lovers Anonymous. This weekend I will get my reviews out for the other two. Catering Christmas is all about a fledging caterer, Molly Frost, who is hired by Gene Harrison, the perfectionist, the perfectionistic director of the renowned Harrison Foundation, to cater to this year's annual Christmas gala dinner. Things get complicated when Molly falls for Gene's nephew, Carson, uh, who's, who's in his 30s, a travel photographer with no desire to take over the family's foundation, until his aunt assigns him to take, ta to take the task of making sure the catered dinner goes perfectly. This is one starring Merritt Patterson and Daniel Lissing. If you did not catch it, I'm sure it'll be on multiple times this week. If you don't want to wait, it is on Hulu right now if you want to check it out. It's a short 80, uh, 85 minute run time. I thought this one was a fun one. It was a decent little watch. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it is not as strong as the ones we've gotten from Hallmark. Catering Christmas does have Merritt Patterson and Daniel Listing. We haven't seen Daniel Listing in a while do a movie. His filmography was mostly known as When Calls the Heart for a while until they, spoiler if you haven't seen it, killed his character off. He's in When Hope Calls Christmas, A Christmas Star. Those were two last year, but he also did... Uh, a December Bride, and Christmas in Love, which uh, those are two I have not seen. I have not seen those two, and I have not seen A Christmas Star or When Hope Calls Christmas. This film, how to describe this film? It's a comfort watch that is kind of made for me that I can see myself watching again. It's a movie where you're watching it, and you're not really retaining a whole lot of the information. You're just enjoying the pretty atmosphere. You're you're enjoying the chemistry between these two because they're familiar faces. To me, Merritt Patterson is one of the most recognizable stars for Hallmark, even though she doesn't have as many movies that I've loved. Like, I have... I, I did not enjoy Bad Date Chronicles. I have yet to see... Wedding March 4, I did not care for Forever in My Heart. Uh, Picture Perfect Christmas, that's a good one. I didn't enjoy Gingerbread Miracle. The Christmas Cottage is one I need to see. Chateau Christmas, I thought was all right. Uh, a Royal Winter, I don't remember a ton about, but I remember I've seen it. And then Christmas at the Palace, I still need to watch. Looking at her... With as many times as I've seen her, she just gets better and better every single time that I see her. She is full of energy. She has this likability about her that not a lot of actresses do. And Daniel Lissing is just such a likable guy. What, boy, boy, my issue here is I don't know how rewatchable this film is. I don't remember a whole lot about this film and I just watched it yesterday. That's my main issue here. But as a one-time watch, I'm going to give this a three and a half out of five. I could give this one another shot. Uh, it, it was kind of made for me. I like cooking. I just made supper tonight. Uh, catering Christmas is a fine little watch, but not one you need to see. If you're interested in seeing Daniel Lissing and or Merritt Patterson, definitely give this a watch. If you're a fan of cooking films, cooking shows, definitely give this one a watch. But it's not a mandatory watch. I think this is a good one, but not one I'm going to recommend to everybody. For fans, give this one a watch. Catering Christmas is getting a 3.5 out of 5 from me, adding up to a B- minus from me. A very hot... Well, actually, I'm, I'm just going to go with a low B. A low B for this one. I enjoyed this overall. Now we're going to get into Christmas Lovers Anonymous. Let's get in that one in the next video.